Hey you guys, it's Jason from the RC Cave. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you a pair of brand new Techno Truggies. On the left is the NT48.3, it's just a Nitro Truggy, and on the right is the ET48.3. My friend Javier was building up uh, the electric Truggy while I was building up the Nitro Truggy, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to throw them on the bench and uh, show you what they look like next to each other. Now, we just got finished painting, so they're brand new, nice and shiny, and uh, you know, we're going to want to show you what they look like before we take them out to the track and get them all smashed and bashed. Uh, we did a real simple paint job, a little liquid mask, a um, real simple color scheme. Uh, we're intermediate painters, we're not advanced by any means, but we have a good time with it. Now the first thing you notice with these two Truggies sitting next to each other is that the electric Truggy has uh, such a, a unique layout. I mean, you know, there's no mistaking a, a Techno Truggy when you see it out there on the track. Alright, let's take the bodies off to show you what these Truggies have underneath. The ET48.3, Javier's got it set up with a, uh, a Castle Mamba Max 2 system, so that's a 2200 kV system. He's got a 16 tooth spur gear. He's running a 4S 500 milliamp battery. Uh, for the servo, he's got a high tech 7950 servo. That's a real high end servo with just uh, tons of torque. I think at 7.4 volts, it's got over 400 ounces of torque, 480 ounces, something like that. Um, he built the kit with a couple of upgrades. The, uh, he's got the Techno upgraded drive shafts. He's got a uh, carbon fiber uh, servo mount and the center diff mount is also the upgraded mount. So um, Javier's got his uh, Techno ET48 8.3 ready to rock. It looks like it's gonna be a very cool setup. All right, you guys, let me show you how I've got my NT48.3 set up. I've got a Works Racing B2 engine, a Works 2058 pipe. Uh, for my steering servo, I'm running a high tech 7950TH. That's a real high end titanium gear, high voltage, high torque servo. I believe you get 480 ounces at 7.4 volts. It's the same servo Javier's running in the um, in the ET48. So it's a real real good uh, steering servo for a uh, for a racing truggy. Um, for my throttle servo, I've got a high tech 7954. Uh, another real good, very capable, high torque, high voltage servo. Not quite as high end as the um, 7950, but it's plenty for what I need back there. Uh, I'm running a 2S LiPo receiver battery. These are both high voltage servos, so a, a 2S LiPo goes really well right there. Uh, I've got my wires exposed. My uh, my uh, switch wires and my balance lead and that way I can charge up that receiver battery without having to pull everything out of there. Now I do have several things on order from A-Main but you know I live in Ecuador it takes a long time uh, for things to get here so they haven't come in yet and that includes a um, an aluminum steering horn from Techno you know this plastic horn is no good but just uh, uh, temporary for mock-up purposes it's there. Um, I've got a digital switch that will mount up right here where the transponder goes and a a real tank puller. I've just got a zip tie on there right now. Another upgrade that I put in here is I built the shocks with a Delrin uh, shock cartridges. On my uh, electric Truggy I've broken the plastic shock cartridges that come with the kit a few times so that's a worthwhile upgrade. In general this kit went together super well. I've got a lot to say about the kit actually in the build but what I'm going to do is save that for a separate in-depth build overview so if you're interested in the NT48.3 make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't uh, miss out on that alright you guys it's been a ton of fun showing you how we've got our brand new Techno Truggy set up thanks a lot for watching make sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already alright I'll see you guys next time